Hello friends, welcome back. So we will continue with the next problems based on the nodal analysis. So in the fourth problem, we have to find VA. Okay, so the point they have given is here A and we will replace it with VA because it is already identified node. Okay, so this is one node and here also there is one more node. Okay, so that is nothing but V. v. No, it is not a node because there is only two branches so it cannot be a node. Now, this, this potential, this potential and this potential is same because there is no presence of any element in between these branches. Okay, and here is the reference node which is grounded. They also having the same potential. Okay, so to find the value of V A, we will apply, apply nodal at, nodal at V A. Okay, so there is 1, 2, 3 and 4 branches, V M by 5 and this is incoming next V A and here it is plus 10 I, so there is one voltage dependent source. Okay. So, this uh, hey, clue for this dependent source of I1 is here. Okay, so now this is nothing but VA plus 10 I1 minus 0. So, this is plus because we are going to take the sign the direction we are coming after the voltage source. Okay, so plus 10 VI upon 5 and this is VA. Here there is one more minus 10 upon total voltage is sorry total resistor is 5 plus 5 10 and there is one incoming current that is 5 volts sorry 5 amperes. So, the LCM of this one is nothing but but we have to replace this I1 because there are two unknowns and we do, we do not have two equations. So, to replace this I1 we will apply the Ohm's law it is nothing but I1 is equal to so, V A minus 10 V A minus 10 divided by the total resistance in the in that loop. So, 5 plus 5 is 10 this is the equation for the I 1. So, we will replace this I 1 in this equation with this one where 10 and 10 get cancelled. Okay, so, we will write it here. So, the total LCM is 10 V A by 5 uh, that is nothing but 2 V A 2 V A plus 2 V A plus 20 this is not 20 2 V A we will keep this as it is 10 into I 1 is V A minus 10 by 10 ok. So, we will take the LCM later. So, this is V A by 5 ok. We will take this one also later replace first I 1 then keep V A minus 10 upon 10 which is equal to 5. Okay, so, this 10 and this 10 gets cancelled we will get with 2 V A plus 4 V A minus 20 plus V A minus 10 equal to 10 into 5 is 50. Okay, so, this is 6 V A 6 and 7 VA, then you have got minus 20 minus 30, when it goes that side you will get 80. So, VA is equal to 80 upon 7 amperes, sorry this is volt. Okay, so, this is the VA, that is the node voltage at VA, 80 by 7. Okay, so, let me check with the answer, yes it is 80 by 7 and 11.42 volts. Okay, so, in the decimal point. Okay, so, this is how uh, when we have got the same potential. So, this whole point is equal to one node. So, next we will go with the second fifth problem. Okay, so, coming to the fifth problem, the question is the current supplied by the battery is dash amperes. So, we have to find this I1 to know the amount of current supplied by this battery. So, first we will identify the node. So, there is only one node here. Okay. So, we will name it as V. Okay. Now, apply the nodal at V. Apply nodal at V and this is the reference node. Okay. So, we have got this nothing, this is nothing but we have got the ideal source voltage. So, whatever here is the 
voltage will appear here that is plus 1 ok. So, the polarity is plus. So, here also it will be plus 1 volt. So, what will we will assume v, v is at higher potential. So, what we will get V minus 1 upon 1 then we have got this I 2 as the outgoing current plus I 2 then we have V minus 0 upon 1 plus 1 2 which is equal to 0 ok. So, now we have to replace this I 2. So, this I 2 can be replaced with a help of this one it is nothing but I 2 is equal to V upon total voltage that is V upon 2. So, this will be V minus 1 upon 1 plus replace this by V by 2 in equation 1 ok. So, in equation 1 replace this I 2 by V by 2 and this is plus V by 2 which is equal to 0. So, what we will get V by 2 V by 2 is again V. So, 2 V minus 1 equal to 0 and we will get V is equal to 1 by 2 volts. So, once we got the V by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 volts then we can find the value of I 1 because we have this volt also this node voltage also ok. So, now we know that this 1 volt is higher potential than V. So, what we will do I 1 is equal to 1 minus V by 1. So, it is nothing but 1 minus V 1 minus 1 by 2 this is nothing but 0 0.5 amperes. So, once the once we know the node voltages then we can find the current in any of the branches. So, only we have to know, know the node voltages ok. So, next we will move on to the sixth question. Coming to the question number 6 we have to find the value of the R this resistor value we have to find ok. So, now to find that observe the circuit diagram do not panic seeing the circuit diagrams. Now, observe this is there any element except this voltage source is there any element connected in this branch no. So, whether it is practical or ideal voltage source it is ideal voltage source. So, whenever you have the ideal voltage source in the branch that voltage will appear at the node. So, how many nodes are there 1, 2 and 3 nodes ok. So, this is nothing but it is 100 volt at this node and similarly at that node at this third node we have this ideal voltage source. So, this with plus 40 volts the node nodal val, uh, node voltage will appear. So, only one unknown we have that is V ok. So, now to find the value of R apply Ohm's law V by I ok. So, we have to know the voltage we know the voltage already here it is 100 minus 40 divided by I. So, if we know the value of I from this branch ok, if we know the value of I in this branch say if it is I 1 ok. So, when we know the value of I 1 then we can find the value of R. So, to know the value of that I 1 we have to know the we can apply node uh, KCL at this node ok 10 ampere and we have to know the value of current from this branch. Once we know that we can easily find the value of I 1. So, to find the uh, value of this current let it be I 2. So, if we want to calculate this I 2 we have to apply the nodal analysis at this point ok. I same procedure can be followed at this node also. So, we know this 5 ampere. So, when we know the current here again we can apply KCL at this node and find the value of I 1 ok. So, we will apply the nodal analysis at A sorry at V apply nodal at V ok. So, we have let us assume this V is at higher potential. So, this is nothing but how many branches are connected 1, 2 and 3 branches ok. So, V minus 100 upon 14 plus V by 2 and this is V minus 40 sorry upon 1 1 2 3 and there is no incoming current. So, we will take it as 0. So, the what is the LCM? It is the 14. So, V minus 100 plus 7 V plus 14 V minus so 14 into 
4 will get uh, 560 equal to 0. So, we have got 21, 22V, then we have minus 660 equal to 0. So, V is equal to, I will write it here, V is equal to 660 by 22. So, 11 to the 30. So, 11, 6, 60. We will get V is equal to 30 volts. Okay. So, now we know that V is at lower potential. Okay. So, to find the value of this I2, apply Ohm's law. I2 is nothing but 100 minus this 30 divided by 14. Okay. So, 100 minus 30 is 70 by 14. Then, uh, 2, 10, 5. So, 5 ampere of current is flowing in the in this branch which is equal to 5 ampere. So, I1 and 5 ampere are leaving. Applying KCL at this 100 volt, I1 plus 5 is equal to 10 and the value of I1 is equal to 5 amperes. So, now we know the value of I1. Once we know the value of I1, we can find the resistor R. So, R is nothing but 100 minus 40 by I1. So, 60 by 5. 5 1s are 12s are. So, our answer is 12 ohm. So, in the option, it is D. Okay. So, this is the answer. But this such a lengthy problem will not be asked in gate. They will be given some of the hint. Okay, so, like in this problem, we have 100 volt and 40 volt, already they have given the voltages of V1 and V3, so we do not need to calculate those values. Okay, only one unknown is there, once we know that, it is very easy to solve the problem. Okay, so basically cal calculators are not allowed in the gate exam, so this type of lengthy problems will not be asked. Okay, so in the next lecture, we will move on to the mesh analysis. Thank you.